So there have been rumors that many teams are interested in trading for Kyle Kuzma, and I could see why, as he's a nice young player who may thrive in a bigger role. The Lakers should consider trades, as I don't think Kuzma is the best fit in LA, and if they can get an upgrade, they should definitely do it. So, let's go over three trade destinations for Kyle Kuzma. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as I really appreciate our guys' support. So first up, I have Kyle Kuzma, Danny Green, and a future first round pick to the Indiana Pacers for Victor Oladipo. I really like this trade as the Lakers can potentially get that third star next to LeBron and Davis for pretty cheap. Obviously Oladipo wasn't himself last year after returning from his injury, but he'll look to bounce back after getting another year to rebuild himself. This would be somewhat of a risk for the Lakers, but if Oladipo does get back to form, he could be a tremendous complementary scorer and lockdown perimeter defender. He can drop 25 points on any night while being able to play make for others as well, and he would be an amazing guard to put on guys like Lillard and Curry in the Western Conference. If he gets back to near his old form, I could see him putting up about 18 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals per game on solid efficiency, and this would almost guarantee in my opinion that the Lakers would be back-to-back -back champions, assuming everything else stays the same and the team is healthy. The Pacers would do this trade to get rid of a disgruntled star, and also get some nice pieces as well. Kyle Kuzma will be solid as a starting four if they decide to trade one of Turner or Sabonis, and he may be able to replicate his 2018-19 season in a bigger role. They would also be getting a future first round pick, and Green is a solid premier defender, and he can help make up for some of the loss in Odebo's absence. So next up, I have Kyle Kuzma and Danny Green to the Phoenix Suns for Kelly Oubre Jr. This is probably my favorite trade on this list, as I think Oubre will be an awesome fit with LA. He just has that vibe to him that would thrive in the city, and he would be a great third scorer that would be a lot more consistent than Kuzma. Oubre was great with the Suns last season before he got injured, as he was able to score very efficiently playing off of Booker and Aiden. I think we can see a similar situation if he were to play next to LeBron and AD, and he would be a great fit in Kuzma's old role. Also, I don't think people really know that he's actually younger than Kuzma even though he's been in the league longer, and he could become a part of the Lakers' future core at only 24 years old. The Suns would do this trade to get a player who played worse than Uber last season at least stat-wise, but he may thrive in a bigger role. I feel like with Uber he could thrive in essentially any role which is why he'll be a better fit in LA with LeBron and AD, and his consistency will be much needed compared to Kuzma's hot and cold games. Also the Suns will be getting another asset in a defensive wing and shooter in green, and this could help solidify their rotation. Now for the final trade on this list, I have Kyle Kuzma and JaVale McGee to the Detroit Pistons for Derrick Rose and a second round pick. This would definitely be an interesting one, and McGee would need to opt in. If he does, this trade could work and the Lakers will be getting a dynamic playmaker and score off the bench in Rose. The Rose has been amazing over the past few seasons as a 6 man, and he has really made a great comeback after a slew of injuries. He's become a solid 3 point shooter, and this has helped open up driving lanes for himself and his teammates. I'd love to see Rose reunite with LeBron after they played together in Cleveland, and I think he could become a big part of a Lakers back-to-back -back titles. The Pistons would do this to continue their rebuild and get a nice young player in Kuzma, and we'll see how Kuzma will fare as a top option on the team. I like this deal for both sides, and I think this has a solid chance of happening. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me if you want to talk about basketball or business, just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try it back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below on which trade you want to see for Kyle Kuzma, and with all that being said, once again thank you guys all for watching, hopefully I will see you soon for the next video, peace.